Hi everyone, this is YML and today we are going to discuss about a topic that I've discovered quite recently, namely how we can measure model calibration using expected calibration error or HF for short. For this subject, we will focus on a subclass of machine learning problems, the binary classification problem, where we usually train a model to distinguish between positive and negative samples. When we solve binary classification problems, we usually label the positive samples with 1 and the negative samples with 0. However, after we train the model, what we get at the output is not a value of 0 or 1, but a probability that depicts how likely the sample is to be positive. For instance, here the model predicts that the sample has a chance of 23% to be a positive sample, or here a probability of 83% to be a positive sample. And now a natural question arises. What percentage of the samples for which the model predicted a probability P to be positive are actually positive? Why? Because if the model is well calibrated, we would expect that P of the samples that got a predicted probability of around P to be positive. And this is an important measurement of any statistical model because it shows you how well its predictions align with the true distribution of the data. And to better understand this concept, I depicted here a graph where on the x-axis we have the predicted probabilities by the model and on the y-axis we have the empirical probability of the samples. So if the model was perfectly calibrated, we would expect that, for instance, 30% of the samples that got a predicted probability of around 0.3 to be positive or that 70% of the samples that got a predicted probability of around 0.7 to be positive. More precisely, if the model is perfectly calibrated, then this estimate should follow the blue axis depicted here. Unfortunately, this is rarely the case, and when we depict the reliability curve, which is the curve obtained by uniting our calibration estimates, it usually looks more chaotic like in this image. However, there are quite a few techniques that bring the reliability curve closer to the blue line, but they are beyond the scope of this video. Now we can finally talk about the main topic of this video, the estimated calibration error or HA for short. We will do that by firstly showing how we compute the reliability curve, because these two topics are closely related. The first step in computing the HA or the reliability curve is to predict the probabilities for each sample in our testset. Then we split our probability axis into a number of bins of equal length and then for the samples found in each bin we compute two things. One, the average predicted probability of the samples in each bin and two, the empirical probability of the samples by counting how many samples in that bin were actually positive. And now we can finally draw our reliability curve by uniting these two estimates in each P. The H is nothing more than a score that summarizes the reliability curve and it is computed by taking the weighted average over each bin, basically the sum over the number of samples in bin Y, PI, divided by the number of samples and multiplied by the absolute value of the difference between the empirical probability of the samples in that bin or the accuracy and the predicted probability of the samples in that bin or the confidence. So this is very briefly what model calibration is about and how we can measure this dimension using ECHE. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like to it if you did. Subscribe to the channel to be up to date with the new content and until next time, don't forget to be awesome. See you!